Hey, it's Briggs Artist. Time to do a Lego haul, and we're going to do an update on my top 10 most wanted retro sets of 2018. We should have something here that will be going towards that. So in this haul, I'm going to do something a little different. We're actually going to open this set, and then I'm probably going to build something that's in here. We also have another package, which is going towards something else we're working on. So let's see what's in these packages. All right, so both of these come from BrickLink, and this this one here was actually the first, I think, the first or one of the first BrickLink orders I placed after the first of the year, and we finally got it today. So let's see what's in here. It's not a very big order. Let's see what we got. All right. This is the main thing we needed from this seller. It is the 4x18 black bricks. And obviously, if you've been following the channel and you see a weird big long black brick, it's got to be for the Darth Maul mock. And these are also other parts. I think I already got all the ones I need that are this size, the 4x10 and the 4x6. I went ahead and ordered some extras. Now, we had a space shuttle set. I think it's the Discovery. Discovery one, the um, uh, the this NASA Discovery, whatever kids, whatever space shuttle. It was missing a couple of these pieces in it when I built it, so I ordered those. And he had this nine volt motor. It's listed as defective, uh, so it was really cheap. But being that it's electronics, let me get this thing out of this little tiny bag. So my thing is, can I fix this? Yeah, I was one of the first things you do is you check the connections of the the contacts to see if they're okay. But that'll be something just to see if it's something I can possibly fix. If it's broken, could be hung up in there or something. We'll find out, yeah, or I may not fix it at all. All right, this next package comes from. I mean BrickLink, but it's also well, it's also from BrickLink, but it's from Canada. What's in here? First of all, we got a Mars Life on Mars set. I don't even know why I bought this. <laughs> Sometimes when I, I'm looking at a store and I'm buying things, I'll look at what other sets they have, and I try to get some that I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that one, so. I picked that up. There was also this rescue set. Set 6445. I picked that up as well. Everything here is used. Now, what do you think those go to? And those. Well, here is one of them. I think this is twenty-one fifty, and this is forty-five fifty-four. Let's see here. So there's the instruction manuals. I got both train stations from one seller. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building these, and both were listed as complete. Which means, if it's complete, it should have all the stickers. With my experience on BrickLink, and I, and I should always preface, preface things with before I buy it by asking the, the, the uh, seller, do you really have <laughs> the stickers and everything? Uh, usually people do note that, hey, stickers are missing, blah, blah, blah. We're going to find out. Uh, personally, I... I'm assuming that these are not complete. I wouldn't even be surprised if some of the pieces were missing. But we're going to find out. So I think I'll start with the red train station 2150. See how we do there. <music>
right, I'm on step three, and we're already missing two two by two gray, old gray plates. And I had to take two two by four plates out of the bag for the um, other one. I don't know if they've mixed things up between the two sets when they took them apart. Uh, I, I wouldn't think they would do that. I don't know why anybody would do that, but so far we have been missing the two by two plates. Actually, there are. Yeah, two, 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 two of these and two two by four plates. Let's get back to it. So I'm to this step. It was missing these two pieces, which are from some Lego space sets as well. Uh, the little computer readouts for the control tower. And I took them out of the other set, the yellow train station. I don't know if they go to that set or not. I've not built it yet. I don't know if these parts got mixed up, but, but I am missing this piece here, the uh, like cabinet with the red trans red piece in there the yellow one with the white door i've looked in both bags can't find it so i'm gonna have to find one in my own collection all right so it turns out this piece is not in a whole lot of sets uh, that lego ever made in this color probably about nine or so uh, and most of them are fabuland sets <laughs> so you'd think i could find one i'd have to go look in my fabuland box i do have this box of random yellow parts that I haven't sorted yet. And I looked through it already, but um, you'd see something that'd be close to the size, but not it. I did have some of the smaller container boxes like this, but none that were the two by three size that I'm looking for. So that stinks. So I'm used to, like I said before at the outset, I'm used to these things not being complete. And once again, it's not complete. But on the brighter side, so far we've had most of the stickers. I got a few more items to look through. Uh, I do have, uh, well, at least some of the stickers. So let's let's build and see if we're missing any other pieces. I should have inventoried this thing before I started building. I'm missing three one by two red bricks. All right, so it's missing also a one by four red plate. Also missing two two by two red plates as they might be bricks gets interested in this. <laughs> Missing a one by four black tile, and 
when I'm showing you, oh, I dropped it. When I'm showing you these, these are ones I've gone and got out of my collection. So far, I think the only thing I haven't been able to get is that container. Back to building. <music> Somebody stole the cash. There's supposed to be some coins in there. Missing a hinge with a gray not light bluish gray brick. And I'm also missing a fence. It's supposed to be these black fences over here on the edge. Missing one for that side. Now we almost are finished. We are missing a few other things. Missing missing the sticker on this. It's a two by four red brick right there. I looked on the other bricks. I uh, did not see it. You have to look on both sides. It's the uh, train logo. Got some extra pieces here. And seeing these extra one-by-one one red bricks makes me think that perhaps they had it built wrong. Or I built it wrong. Got these extra turntables. A yellow plate. It's possible that some of these could be mixed up with the... Uh, those are the parts for the other one. I was looking through it for some other things. I'm missing a yellow flower. The minifigures are all wrong. I mean... I got to have these, and I got these, so I think the next thing to do is get all the minifigures out of the other set. I took I took all the minifigures out of the other set, and this is what we had, which is exactly what you're supposed to have in the other set. So that set had the right minifigures. This one is supposed to have eight minifigures. I have ten. <laughs> so... Two, four, six, eight. So I got an extra two minifigures. But the tra they're not all the right ones. So I mean, it's, I'm missing a train conductor. A couple other things. Yeah. And the, I don't know where this mail carrier came from. It looks like the guy that came with a yellow bicycle. So I'm only supposed to have one of these guys. With that torso, I got three. And they're supposed to be a paradiso looking girl. She's not in here. So, and I'm missing all the suitcases, all the uh, pieces that go inside the suitcases. Oh, I'm missing the brown suitcases, the white. I'm missing a milk, uh, a letter. I'm missing one of these printed one by twos. I think it's actually got a different mail logo. So, yeah. And I'm missing a flower. All right, see if we can remember... <laughs> everything i i was I, you know i knew it was going to be missing pieces i just didn't know it was going to be missing this many uh this is one of the worst sellers i i, I tell you another thing that happened i didn't mention this when i i did the unboxing of the haul i ordered another set when i before i placed the order i asked what would the shipping be for these sets and i listed the sets that i would be ordering after I paid for the the order, they came back and said, "Oh, we're missing one of the sets, which is one of the ones I wanted," and it, you know, they didn't have it, or at least that's what they said. I was like, I asked for a shipping quote before I placed the order. Now you're telling me you don't have it? Well, we were just basing it on the weight of the item or whatever, and I was like, yeah. So this doesn't. It's it's my own fault. I mean, I knew <laughs> this would possibly be missing some pieces, but uh, yeah, so it's missing a lot. But it does have some of the stickers. So I think, uh, as far as stickered pieces, I am missing just two: uh, one piece of the uh, mail, and then the logo that goes there. It's the train logo right there. So I should be able to find a Bricklink seller selling those. Uh, the Paradisa Girl 
I should have extras of those in my collection and I'll go through and see what else we got here but yeah it's really a, this is just kind of a, one of those things you you learn I mean I got a few extra parts here but they don't go to the set um, unless I built it wrong which I'm looking over this no I built it right <laughs> So I got to get the suitcases, the flower. I'm going through everything here. The the minifigures, get the right ones, the stickered pieces, and that'll get. Oh, in the in the uh, the display case, it'd be a little two by three yellow cabinet that would go in here. So this is the back side of it. Oh, actually, I think it goes up here, doesn't it? I can't remember. In the little office area so it was also missing these control panels i stole those out of the other set uh, so yeah all right so in the comments below tell me how you think i should handle it oh i forgot to mention this there's paint there's paint on this <laughs> on the ramp all right <laughs> so you've seen everything that i'm missing you Take the knowledge that I did not confirm with the seller to verify the contents. I don't think it would have mattered. I think they would have said it was complete, even if I asked ahead of time. But you see all the pieces that were missing here. This was one of the lowest priced ones. In fact, it may have been the lowest priced one on BrickLink at the time. But you see how bad it is as far as not even being close to being complete. Um, and it's dirty. It's filthy. And it's got paint on it. So how do you think I should handle it? Um, I'll tell you how I normally handle these. Because I don't worry about it. Because <laughs> it is sometimes it's not worth the hassle of uh, dealing with a seller. Now, if I had paid top dollar for this, then I would probably contact the seller. But when I, I can, I've done, I've bought on BrickLink for almost 18 years now, and I can tell this is a a, a, a big tell on BrickLink. Oh, let me let me switch. All right, so with BrickLink and sellers, if they're very vague or they don't add detailed descriptions to used sets, generally there's going to be problems. Uh, if they've gone through and said, I've, you know, I'd rather buy an incomplete set that lists all the details of what's incomplete than one listed as complete with no details of the condition, like, you know, clean or even if it's, it says rough or you know, has some details about it, it's dirty or dusty, you know. This one had none of that. It just said complete. It's clearly not complete, not even close to being complete, and it's filthy. <laughs> I'm going to have to wash it, but I thought this would be good to show you this. I mean, again, complete honesty, I knew when I placed the order that there might be some problems, um, and I was disappointed that one of the sets that I wanted, they did. They said they didn't have it after I bought it. I mean, they did refund me my money, but it's not the first time that's happened on BrickLink. And I think what happens is, uh, well, you can misplace something. I mean, I've done it. I've misplaced parts, usually not sets. I've incorrectly listed sets uh, where I put the quantity too much, but. Um, sometimes I think what happens is people sell things on eBay and they forget to take it out of their BrickLink store. That's what I think happened in this case, but I'm just speculating. So anyway, tell me what you think about all this. I'm going to have to take this thing back apart and clean it up and look for those missing parts. I'll add those to my wanted list. Mainly the, 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 the 2 by 3 storage container thingy, whatever they call it and the printed elements. Most everything else I've probably, even the minifigures I can probably find somewhere down here in the basement. All right, so that, I know this was a rather long haul. It was kind of a haul and a build. I was planning on building the yellow train station. It actually looks worse. The pieces are a lot dirtier than even with this red one. So I think what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to go through and inventory everything before I build it. Although I hate doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about this mess, and I'll see you in the next video. Bricks are.